Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this episode, we've got the EP3 in the garage. Um, basically, checking to see whether I bought a dog or whether I bought a good one. So I've got all the wheels off and I've got it in the air. I've actually bought a set of lowering springs to go on it. Um, I have an exhaust to go on it as well, a HKS high power. Um, since the first video, I've managed to get a video, a video, get a um, replacement boot lid to do away with this big dent. Um, so yeah, so I think let's have a look what we're up against. So this is a hundred and eighty-three thousand mile Civic. So it has a lot of dirt underneath these arches. Um, but it isn't, other than a bit of surface rust here. I'll get this off later and have a proper look. But um, it doesn't look too bad. So that is the rear, rear passenger side arch. So I've only been using the car for a couple of weeks. And the first day I took it out, some plonker decided to park next to me and leave me a nice mark on the side of my car. However, as luck would have it, the day before I'd been out and I'd bought a new front wing because I wasn't very happy with this deep scratch and the door already had a couple of little parking blemishes and a couple of deep scratches. So I'd bought a wing and door for this side. So I have them already. So although it's gutting, um, it wasn't um, devastating. Right, front side. The wetness you can see is actually, I've lubed up all of the nuts already. So when I come to change, I'm going on holiday today. Um, so when I come back, I'm gonna swap all the suspension. So I'm gonna just keep some lube on there so it should be nice and free when I come back. But yeah, nothing too sinister under here. If we look at the seals, excuse my dodgy carpet. Yeah, I think I've got good in here. <laughs> I've got the speakers out already, so you can join me on my first inspection. Once again, discs are a bit, discs have got a little bit of a lip, but I'm gonna get some PBS pads for them. What I, what I really want out of this car is a fast road car. Um, I'm not chasing stupid power. I've had that in the MR2. This is front wheel drive, so it'll just wheel spin. Um, but no, nothing. Oh, it's got, um, need a new wheel arch liner. Um, no, nothing screaming out bad at the moment. Let's have a look at this seal. What's nice is it hasn't been under sealed, so I can see everything. I know, I'm really chuffed with this. This is in really good condition. I was really worried because without actually, when you buy a car, there's only so much of an inspection you can do. The rest of it has to be done in your own time. Um, once again, this is caked in. Oops, you can probably, probably see the mud on the inner arch. I need to get a jet wash in here, clean all this out. And then, yeah, tidy it up a bit. But once again, very similar on the uh, arch. Um, let's have a look at the exhaust system. So it, it is completely stock, this car. Rear subframe. Nothing looks to be, everything seems solid. Yeah, I'm really happy. Um, exhaust has got a bit of corrosion, but that's just the back box, nothing major. Still got everything stock in it at the moment, including the original cat up the front. No, I'm happy. All the danger areas all look solid. I'll get a screwdriver out in a minute when I haven't got the phone, just to double check everything. As you can see, I've lubed up all the bolt holes. But no, it looks like we haven't bought a dog. So let's put the camera in the speaker holes and see how they look. 
So for those that are unaware, one of the key places to look on an EP3, or sorry, yeah, on a Civic, is behind the speakers. So you take the cover off, three screws, turn your torch on on your camera, and then you get ready to see whether you've got a good one or a bad one. So here we go, this is the driver's side. Okay. It's all right. I'm trying to get the torch so it shows really well. Probably not the best lighting. That looks like a lot of surface rust. I will get a, um, a rust eating treatment on that and then I'll give it a sealant, I think. I'll get a screwdriver to, in there as well to make sure it's solid, but that doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's do the passenger side. All right, passenger side. Oh, just a quickie. Bought a set of these tools a little while ago for my garage. I've got other tools in my van that I use for work, but I needed a set for my garage. So I bought a drill, an impact gun, a hex impact gun, and a ratchet and they're amazing. This one's got a So anyone looking for the garage tools, the CD stuff is really, really good. Yeah, that's, I like that. Obviously it would have been better if there was no rust, but it doesn't look to be too bad. So I would say, I haven't bought a bad Civic, 183,000 miles. Um, since the last video, I have changed the driver's seat. I cleaned the seats. They weren't really rough. Um, the car's looking a lot better now. Still got to change the steering wheel, got a new gear knob. Um, but I bought a driver's door as well. So, um, I've got the, the, the surround, a whole new surround set up. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's on my back desk there. But yeah, the car is slowly, I've accumulated a lot of parts, so I'm gonna start now doing some videos of me installing it. So the next video will be me putting the suspension on. Oh, and I bought some amazing wheels. Um, I'll do a, an unveiling of them. I've bought some new tires, because my EP3 ones, uh, very very cheap tires and the inner edge let me get out I've got, I've shot my in. Um, the tracking was off on the front so the inner edge of these tires is pretty low down to wear markers quite bold on the inner edge but the rears are good so they'll get me out of stuck tires um, but they all needed a refurb anyway so my new wheels and tyres have arrived. So when I get back, I aim to put the suspension on, possibly the exhaust. I still haven't decided whether I'm gonna go for the high power. Although I've bought it, a friend of mine is selling a system that I might put on instead with a sports cap. <coughs> but I just don't know whether that's gonna be the look I'm after. So yeah, there's a little update on the Civic. It's finally getting a little bit of love. Yeah, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos on the Civic. I'll be changing the doors, changing the wing, putting all the bits that I've bought on it. Um, I'll get the cat. I'll probably refurb the brakes, probably put braided lines on at the same time, do a brake fluid change, and try and get it on track. I'm really looking forward to giving this a bit of a blast around the track. I haven't driven front wheel drive on track for years, so it's going to be lots of fun. But yeah, no, I'm happy. Um, I'm just going to put a bit more lube on the on the bolts before I fly out later. Um, have a nice week and I will give you an updated video when I get back on how it looks with the new suspension and the new wheels.